For this tutorial, we're going to take a look at yet another WordPress site feature. For this, we're going to look at pages. And a page isn't the same as a post because a page is a website page that is actually up permanently, while the post page will actually update every time you put a new post. So this is a part of your website that you could have up, let's say if you have certain interests that you want to show in addition to your daily posts. Let's say that you're interested in WordPress tutorials. So let's go ahead and take a look at the sample page. This will show up in your actual site navigation, and this is going to come up as a link on your page. So let's go ahead and take a look at the preview of this and see it comes up in your top bar here as the sample page and it again allows people to leave a reply if you want them to so let's say for this one let's start a whole new page we're going to do that by clicking add new and we're just going to put it as this is the first page I'm just going to type a little bit of content on here All right. So now we've got a little bit of content. Again, just like with the post page, we can save the draft, we can preview it, we can publish it immediately. Now underneath though, there's going to be a little bit different of a setup. This will be page attributes, and this will be if there's a parent, and a parent means basically a hierarchy of your pages. So let's say we wanted to make this a child of the sample page. And then underneath it, it has a default template, our showcase template, and the sidebar template. Once you upload the template you're going to be using for your WordPress page, these will be different for your pages. But let's take a look and see what happens when I click on Showcase Template. And the order that I want this to show up under my parent page is the first one. So let's go up and do a preview and see what happens. This is a showcase page. As you can see, it's different from before. Now back in the page, I'm going to go ahead and click under Publish. Now let's see what that's going to look like. I'm going to go into the name of my database for this. And I'm going to scroll down. And now, when I run my mouse over sample page, you see that this is the first page shows up, which means that this is a child of this in its drop-down menu. So let's go ahead and click it. And there it is. So that's how you can arrange your pages according to which are the parents and which are the children. And this makes it a lot easier for people to navigate your site depending on what it is they're looking for. You can also set a featured image for this part as well. Once you go out to the pages, you'll see that we have the sample page and then underneath it with a dash is this is the first page. And this shows you that this is a child of the page above it for the sample page. You can do an edit, quick edit, trash it, or view it just from this page. You can also click these off and do the same bulk edit as we did before. You can filter it according to what date it was published and you can do a search. So this is an easy way to adjust your website so people can easily find your content depending on what subject they're looking for. So I hope this has helped you out and I will see you at the next tutorial. Thanks for listening.